Hello once again, this is Mike from Blackhawk Paramotor USA and I'm with Mike G. Today, for our tips and tricks video, we're going to show you how to install the new Blackhawk Comfort Harness. There's been some questions from other people and we're going to try to answer those questions with this video as well. One of those questions will be, or has been, how did the retention straps hook up? There's two videos on the internet about it. But we're going to include this video or how to hook up these retention straps in this video. Okay, well the first step is as the assembly video for the Kestrel frame goes, you'll already be at this stage so everything's already on. So the easiest thing to do is lift the swing arm up out of the way. This big round tube here, the J-bar mount, is what we go around. So easy thing just take your retention strap go over the top and around so it'll look like this and then you can go ahead and go around one more time and bring it back through so now it looks like that you can go ahead and bring your swing arm down Note that there's a welded loop on the back of the swing arm, and that is where this comes through. So we can bring that down. Now it should look like this. The purpose of the retention strap is, if this bolt, eight millimeter bolt were to ever break, this strap will keep this arm within two and a half inches of where it was originally connected. The question is, what's the possibility of that bolt breaking? There is no possibility of that bolt breaking. This is aluminum. This would break prior to this steel bolt. So we go and bring the swing arm down. You're going to take your triangular shaped mallion and just join these together. Pull it around and then Go ahead and spin the lock down and then you can take a pair of pliers and just snug it. You don't need to crank down on this, just snug it, that's it. And there you have it. So if there was any type of failure up here, it's got you covered. So now the retention strap is done. You can see how it operates and see how it would retain that arm should the bolt possibly break. The next thing we're gonna do is show you how to install the new Blackhawk Comfort Harness. We've completed one side to save time. We know that a lot of people don't like to sit there and watch 20 minute long videos. Yep. But we will show you how to in install properly the right side of the harness. So when you get your harness, first thing I'd like to do is you can take your shoulder strap, hold it up, and you're going to see that there's another strap hooked in through a plastic buckle. This is for your ground handling strap, so you can just simply pull it out, remove it, lay your harness down. One end has a loop, the other end does not. So we just come underneath the bar right here, next to the fuel tank, take the end of the strap go through the loop that's it and you do the same for the other side of course now we can go ahead and stand the harness up and if you just you can see right here come just straight through here's your shoulder strap and just ensuring that this is clear you can see both of these are clear you can come back through the plastic buckle. Do make sure that the strap is not twisted, that it's nice and flat all the way up through the buckle. That part's done. The next part that we like to do is just going ahead and if we get this set up on top right now, it'll hold the harness up and then everything else from there is easy. So when we do this, come from underneath the bar, not over the top. So if we come underneath, you can make one wrap around like that, come back around again, 
to the other side so it looks like this. And then if you take the end of the strap and go underneath while you're holding it, you can actually just cinch this down. It'll stay. It makes it a lot easier for just going ahead and hooking up the buckles. You do want to keep this buckle as close to the harness as possible so that you can keep the harness as high as possible on the grab bar. Kind of digs into your fingers a little bit, but keep it tight and keep it high. Okay, so that's completed. The next one that we're going to get into is how to attach the swing arm to the harness. So if you hold this up, and I'll kind of give a side shot of it here. Hopefully that's clear enough. You'll see a strap coming from the center of the harness to here, right in. Right where that join is, is a loop. So if you just take this loop, leave this going to the inside, just take that loop. There it is. Now we go ahead and we take our shackle You'll notice that the other shoulder strap has the three loops in it. It also has a little pocket. This is for the high hang point machines. The end of the J-bar goes in here with a nut and a bolt, and your CG is adjusted via these three loops here. Ignore those. Here we are doing the swing arm or weight shift cage. Okay, so we have our loop. We can go ahead and take our shackle, come through. Notice that this strap is saying to the inside. That's where we want it, to the inside. You just come down here onto the end of the swing arm, take the pin and go through. Do notice that we are applying the pin from the outside. The locking portion or tightening portion of the pin is on the outside. Make sure that it's on the outside on this side. Make sure that it's on the outside on the other side. Yep. So when you hold this up, there it is. The strap should be on the inside, the one coming from the back of the harness, and this just looks like that. It's pretty simple. Um, next one that we'll cover is we include it's like a key ring, and this is the safety for this pin going through. Snug this up. You don't need to take a pair of pliers and crank on it. Snug it up nice and tight with your fingers. Take the key ring portion. You can go, I start down at the bottom, bring it through, and then I just come up here to the top and go through. There's a hole at the end of the pin. You can come up through and you just turn it on and there it is. So if we go to do this, it's going to stop it from coming out. Just so you know, when you're actually flying, there's a lot of pressure against this pin and the connection. We're not worried about the strength of this mallion or the pin. What I'm trying to point out is that even though this were to come loose, the chances of this ever coming out far enough to where this mallion could come off is very, very rare. The chances of that are very, very slim. Okay. Okay, so that completes this portion. We'll go ahead and turn this to the side. And if you just lift up the swing arm a little bit, you're going to notice that there's a strap here in the back. So if we take the buckle. Usually the buckle, when you get it, is going to be right out here somewhere. So what we want to do is just go ahead and slide that buckle all the way back up here to where it's at the back of the harness. Take the end of the strap and go in between the frame. There's a little silver piece here that just connects the two frame halves together. Just go ahead and go in behind that. Bring it out and keep in the strap straight. 
So it looks like this. And then just simply go back through the buckle like that and then through here. These do not need to be cranked up against the frame. Leave about six inches. And that's it. You can take the excess and tie wrap it back against itself like that. Mike mentioned about how loose this needs to be. This is really only a retention strap for if you were to technically go upside down. Yeah. When he says don't make it tight, he means that because if this is tight to here, it is more difficult to get in and out of the harness. So leave it about, I say two and a half inches of slack from the normal flying position or the six inches that he described. One other the hiking straps. What I usually do on mine is rather than worry about this happening whenever I loosen it up and it coming loose, I like to tie a knot in the end of it. Simple little hitch like so. That way when you pull up on the quick release here it's only going to go to the knot. Okay, so the next one we're going to cover is hooking up your carabiner, carabiner strap, and the harness safety strap. This one's real simple. It's the only one that hangs off to the side with a loop in it. Okay, so we can just leave this laying off to the side for right now. Now, depending on what your weight is to adjust your hang angle, which you should be covering with your instructor. So for just the video purposes and assembly showing you how it goes, we're just going to go ahead and go through these two holes. The farther you move it forward, the more it leans back. The far you, farther you put it this way, the more you lean forward. But that should be covered with your instructor. So we'll take the carabiner strap. That's the shorter ones. And we'll go ahead and come underneath one. We can come around. to the back one, and then you end up with them looking like this. Now there's two different ways that you can attach the safety strap. One is through the carabiner strap itself. The other is just simply going through the carabiner. Uh, they can be personal preference. It accomplishes exactly the same thing. Um, I personally just like going through the carabiner strap. It's just one less thing floating around in here. So I just bring it through. You can see that it's to the outside. So you should end up with the strap looking like this. And then what you do is I like to start with the carabiner. You open the gate, put the gate so it looks like this. Come through. Come through. You can go ahead and just let the gate close. And then just rotate it around so that the gate is facing to the inside. Then we can go ahead and hook up the harness safety strap. That simply just goes through the carabiner and sits here to the outside like this. And for some of you that might have the older harnesses with slightly shorter strap, these safety straps might have to go through the carabiner strap. attachment strap which would bring it down here. Either or will work just fine. So that covers putting the harness on. I'd like to thank you for watching today's updated tips and tricks video regarding attaching the new Blackhawk Comfort Harness. If you have any questions whatsoever, please feel free to call the staff at 209-786-7899. Again, thanks for watching. You can take this and go from the inside, and you can see the strap that holds the Kestrel frame halves together. Just go right through here. You can't help yourself, Mike, can you? <laughs> Dinner, doesn't matter where. <laughs>
So just go ahead and bring it through. <coughs> okay. I'm trying to film. Stop. <laughs> go back. Okay. Talk about the okay. buckle sliding forward. Okay. Yep. On. Okay, so. Hold on, Matt. I'm so in. <laughs> Wait, we better stop. Please feel free to call the staff at Blackhawk Paramotor USA 209 481 0493.